think we're going to have to remove the disc pads because it won't come off. So to do that, we need to do this little screw. Don't lose that. And that project really well. <coughs> this should uh, enable us to take the pans out. One just fell out. Here's the other one. Take that out. Now we should be able to. The pins are clean. And that one's got grease on it. Not much. But the pins are really clean, which is good. So if I just apply a little bit of grease, which I've got here, this time we're using automotive wheel bearing grease for disc and drum applications. So hopefully this will be the good shit. It's a nice red colour. Now you wouldn't want to put too much on these, I wouldn't think. I'll just put a little bit on there. A little bit on there. Slide it back on. Look at that. That's nice, eh? So uh, that pin there goes through there and through there to hold them in place. Now I'm just wondering whether I should put a little bit of grease on that because that's suffering a bit of corrosion. Wouldn't hurt to put a little light application on there, I wouldn't think. Yep. Let's go back in, top end first. Down there. And just hold them with your finger. Then line this up through. Both dis pads. We do both pads. Have I got any of them? No. So you should be able to see the hole through there. It goes through. Nip that up and put a little retaining cap in. That's good. Now I can uh, put the front wheel back in. It's a super bar to spread these buggers apart. This. So got the wheel in situ. Yeah, almost forgot to put the spacer in. <laughs> so I'll put a bit of same grease on that. And -de -da 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 -da. Let's twist the wheel out of friction. Slide that up oh, there. Like that. Now the axle is in pretty good condition. Look at that. So I might just put a bit of a smear of grease on there. Keep it looking good. A bit on there. Oh, 
boom, boom. Torque that up to that much. Uh, now when you're tightening up this retaining collar, the manual says to tighten the top ones first, then the bottom ones, okay? Not sure the reason. There is a reason. There is a directive in the manual. Remember, tight's tight. Two types, bug it. There we are. Look at that. Well, I've never had the rear brake caliper off before. I think it should sort of yep. Yes. Now I'm not sure if there's anything holding this together, so I'll just try. Oh look at that. Look at that. Excellent. Okay, well, that was easy. So once again we'll clean those pins up. Not much grease on these either. Well like you wouldn't expect too much anyway really would you? And put a little bit of grease on those. Can you see? Okay, a little bit on this one. And a little bit on this one. So, let's see if this slides back together as easy as it came off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slide it back in there. Wow. I'm happy with that. Right. <laughs> hmm. Now. on there. Oh, I don't need all Okay. Let's see here. This is going to be fun. I can tell this is going to be real fun. So, that looks like it's been subject to heat. It's not been riding too fast. No, <laughs> just joking. Goes on. Yep. Yep.
Mm-hmm. Come on. Same time, that camera is looking like he has a phone. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! That little bear in the ears coming. Get in there. I can, I can then get in there. Right, here we go. This rear axle, as you can see, has had a bit more corrosion on it. I've cleaned it up a little bit, so I'll put some grease on that. Now let the fun begin. So we're going to get through there. That and the wheel through the brake. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh my God's planets are aligned. We might be able to get it in. Gently tap that in until you hear something hard. Like that. Is that what we're having? Hmm. Once again, the little careful persuasion is required. Like that. Think of that tire anyway. It's pretty good to me. You know what I've done, don't you? I put the axles through a different way, but this does not matter. It can stay that way. I'll put the nut and bolt on the other side. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Almost forgot. Almost forgot the snail adjuster. So while it's like this, I might Just change the sprocket so you won't want to see that. You've seen it all before. So for now, see you later. Till next time. Bye. I couldn't handle it. In the end, I turned the axle around to, to the uh, way it came in, out of the factory. Here's the new tyre. So we're going to see how this runs. Eh? Should be good. So we'll be able to let the bike down in a minute and we'll go for a ride. See what happens. Thanks for watching. Bye.